Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for another Brick Haul and this one is the A Fold A Brick Haul. Now, the thumbnail is a little bit misleading. That is actually all of the bags from all of the people I was with on Saturday. The thing that worries me is that I put that photo up on Instagram and everyone believed that that was just mine and Ian's purchases. I know we do like to buy Lego and I only put it up really to see if my mum would tell me off for spending so much and yeah people just thought that that was okay we do have quite a lot this is one bag of three that I'm going to start with but we did not have seven bags worth of stuff so let's have a look and see what we got I think you probably could see from the thumbnail what this one is it's the biggest set and actually I feel really sorry for Ian because he had to carry all of this Lego and I've just tried to cut it from the hallway to the te desk and the pain of holding these handles is is a lot Okay, so here it is, set 71799 Ninjago City Markets. Now, I had to get this as soon as I could because it's a big set and it needs to be built and put in the city so we can work around it. I had not planned for this. I did not know they were going to build such a ridiculously large size city um, set, but I love my Ninjago City sets and I can't not get it. So planning for it has to start now. I've been trying to redo our like, Asian quarter make all of the Chinese New Year sets fit in there and I am going to have to take a serious look at what space I have available and so building this makes sense. So we're going to start building this on Sunday because I can't wait. It just looks amazing. It's really nice. I don't know why they've gone so large though. I, I like the 32 by 32 sets. I don't think they needed to go quite this big but at the same time I'm quite happy they did because it looks it looks mega. So this will be getting built straight away so there's no point in me taking that upstairs which is good because it's heavy okay bag number two is somewhat smaller this is the gift of purchases that went with my purchase because we did split our purchases at the weekend to try and maximize those gift of purchases so first up we have set 41960 it's a dots big box set i did not realize that this was going to be a gift of purchase and the amount of purple in the set i really like also i just like dots i do like dots i'm sad that they discontinued them and I think they're really quite useful for things like mosaics and stuff and adding detail to buildings. So I was happy to get that. But the the truth of the matter is you're only meant to get this if you bought City, Friends, Disney, Princess or Harry Potter, I think it was. And I bought none of those things. And she said, oh, you're not eligible for it. And my face clearly said it all. And she's like, oh, yes, I see you have bought City stuff. And she just chucked it in the bag for me. So thank you so much to that kind, kind lady. Ian pointed out that it was Ninjago City Market, so it probably should have been available, but I think he's clutching at straws there. And then we have set 40590. That's the Houses of the World set two. Now, I really only want one of these to go with my Houses of the World one, and I already have that one, so this is a bonus. So hopefully I can recoup some of my costs using that. And I know there are quite a few people who don't want to spend the £220 to get this set. So I'm quite happy to sell that on and make them happy and, and get a bit of money back. Okay, bag number three, final bag, is also another big bag. And this is Ian's purchases. Okay, the logistics of getting this stuff out of the bag is quite hard. But this is set 80049. In fact, I think that's the back that I'm showing you there. Yeah, there you go. So this is a Monkey Kid set. We really like the big Monkey Kid sets, like the temples and the city type sets. We're not a big fan of the mechs and some of the brightly coloured vehicle type things. But I, I do like the Monkey Kid line and these are the ones that we invest in. There's so many parts in here that look really cool. I'm really liking the look of these sort of studs on the top here. They're sort of the, the shaped studs. They're more like gems. And then these... These headpieces for the minifigs are outstanding and the little balls as well. I'm just, I'm loving the colouring and this, this colouring of the temple, the, the sort of blue colour, fantastic. So the reason we bought this with our A4 Do discount is that you very rarely see Monkey Kid anywhere other than the Lego store. So using your A4 Do discount to get money off is a smart move. Getting stuff from the Lego store just because it's on A4 discount when it would go cheaper elsewhere isn't the best use of your discount so we didn't buy certain things because we knew we would get friend sets 
cheaper elsewhere like Amazon and Smiths and things. So that's why we went for this. We're going to speed through the rest. So we've got another Dots pack. Again, he didn't qualify for this, but they're very lovely. Another Houses of the World, which we did qualify for. One, two, three Pub Cups. Bam. Bam. And then lastly, this one's a bit of a random one. Um, these pieces, they're like the dragon faces from a Ninjago set. Don't know how well you can see that so the, as we were leaving the store we we spotted these pieces in like a display they were encouraging you to create like a dragon race car or something like that and um, it was an interactive exhibit and ian found these and he's like these are really cool pieces and the guy i asked where which set do they come in he's like oh we don't have the set at the moment he's like but you can have have it and so he let us just take it and ian's like well i want three to kind of do an underwater thing in the coral reef so expect to see these pieces in the coral reef soon there is three there and he was he was made up because we didn't want to buy the ninjago set but now we have the pieces that we need so that is super cool right let's take a closer look at the pick a brick and the bam so the bam figures at the moment are the ninjago figures and i'm not a massive ninjago fan so i didn't really want to just get one of the pre-built ones with all the torsos and things because I, I didn't think I wanted them. But then as I looked at them more, I thought I can put them in my Ninjago City or in my Asian Quarter or, I mean, they're just torsos. So I did get quite a few. Um, so I put them roughly together. There's one. I think these ones go together. I quite like the, the printing on this one. I think that's beautiful. And the detailing at the back as well. Um, trying to work out which ones went with which. I did use the, the pre-built ones as reference there's a green one not sure which legs this one goes with i think maybe that one's the red one and then this one i don't think that's ninjago i think it's more of a sporty top that one number 10 on the back i thought it was quite cool and then some legs with this one maybe this has got a grumpy cat on the back which i think is cute so i'm happy with that one these are quite sporty legs and then i got an extra torso so i've got one two three four five six sort of torsos and heads then an extra torso instead of a, a head or a hair piece or something i've i've only got I, I didn't steal i promise but i have got extra heads and torsos but i haven't got as many accessories i think so i didn't get the the heads that were meant to go with the Ninjago people. I don't like Lloyd's green eyes, if I'm honest. I find them a little bit creepy. So here's my seven heads. I like the printing on this one. I th think I may have got the sweaty head before, but it's quite a useful one. Um, I mean, some of these are definitely are the Ninjago ones, but I like the variety. And then we've got some alternate faces at the back there as well. I do like getting a few female heads every time I go. I got some hair pieces. I really like the long hair piece. So I got two of those. I got the orange hair piece. Sort of shaggy hair. This like May piece, but in coral. And I, you know I hate coral, but you know, I'm gonna get it. I think we've already got this one, but I I do like this. This one was an interesting looking one. Because it's got that sort of flat bit at the back, but then quite spiky on top, so I like that. Got me some chickens because everyone needs chickens and you can see i didn't get all the accessories i've only got four accessories that's how i got those extra two heads and torsos so i did get one katana but i felt the other ones were a bit bright the blue one didn't seem so bad but the other ones were a bit in your face next up we have bam it's well stick it uh, well taped down and our store was being extra generous and allowing you to put pieces in the bottom as you do. I'm not going to lie, Ian was completely in charge of BAM, so I have absolutely no idea why he got any of these things. But I was quite impressed with his um, top stacking. So he really built up that that nipple um, piece, or stud piece, um, and maximised that space. It's going to be a nightmare to take apart. At the Southampton store, they also had like one hole with random pieces in Normally this is the stuff that they've swept off off the floor, but you do seem to find pieces in there that they've got from sort of built sets and the extra pieces they just shove in there. 
so I was getting all the colourful dots from in there and that was really annoying Ian because most of them were stuck inside like bricks and I had to get him to take them out. So we've got quite a lot of the 1x8s, 1x10s in light bluish grey, some studs in red, grass pieces, snot bricks, grills, colourful dots. We even found some letter dots in there, in the random one, which was quite good. A couple of these, not sure what Ian wants to do with those. And white two by eight maybe tiles i think that's everything in there and then in the bottom of the stud i think ian really enjoyed the challenge of getting that sort of flush in there in fact i think he's wedged that in there we go so that's his little build i don't think we even needed these bits but we wanted to maximize space Poke cup number two again he's gone for that really Interesting technique there. I've just lost a few because he actually had some loose in that little cavity there. So they're now on the floor, but they're just random pieces. We've got two by sixes bricks. Made a nice little bit there. And then a really horrible highlighter one there. Two by four plates in the tan with ones randomly stacking to make it hard for me to get them apart because he loves me so much. These ones slightly less irritating. A whole bunch of one by fours in uh, tiles in white. I quite like the look of these pieces. I don't know why we got quite so many of them, but you know, there you go. Um, I think that's it in there. Oh, and a random one, uh, two by four. Last one. Same technique on the top. Loads of plates for breaking my fingernails. Some snot bricks. Some awfully coloured coral pieces. Some grabber pieces. Gold pieces. Don't need these, we've got so many really didn't need these i think ian was just enjoying himself some more of these we definitely have those already a random circular plate and then some others um and some bits that are good for sort of adding snow maybe on the mountain i, I just don't know why we got so many of those Ian definitely gets overexcited at the pub ball. He got two of those precisely, just so they'd fit in the bottom of the anti stud, and then a bunch of these. But not, not enough to make a roof. I don't know why he got six of those. I feel like you'd need more for a roof. So that's all the pub. That's going to take me a while to sort, but you know I do love a good sort. I also got a couple of new stamps in the passport. So this month is Ninjago month. So I managed to pick up that really cute new baby dragon. I also found a couple of extras that were randomly about. I asked if I could get last month's stamp because they're doing like a, a monthly stamp. So they had the Friends one, I think, back at the end of, or well, the start of the year. I think last month was actually Star Wars, but they throw them away. They've been told they have to throw them away to encourage people to go in during the month so I will be making sure I have at least one trip a month to the Lego store to get my stamps in future and I also got one bonus thing which was a Disney minifigure this was from Gaz uh, the minifigue who very kindly picked up the one that I'm missing so I now have all of them here is my ridiculously too many arms stitch there you go extra arms this is oh he's so cute i do like stitch i don't really care much for the film but he's quite cute apart from when he's not when he's all sort of teeth he's less cute then but there you go extra arms i feel like you should have four guns really but never mind so yeah that finishes my disney minifig collection 
so there's the haul this is what we got on a4 day i cannot get this all in one screen it's too much that ninjago city markets is a big box but yeah i'm really happy with our purchases i think we spent wisely we got something that was a priority for us something that we couldn't get on discount anywhere else bam because that's you can only get bam in store and then the pick a brick because ian likes to stack pick a brick with his friends and it it, it was nice to to hang out let me know what your favorite item is in this haul what you got for a fold day if you took part as well if you like brick hauls then i'll link up our brick haul playlist at the end and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update See you later!